What do Vietnamese women really want when dating a man? What are their dating preferences? So if you are, if you are a foreigner and are interested in dating Vietnamese women, then this video today here might be for you. But before I dive into today's topic, I just want to say hi again here from Bangkok. I am in the Bencha Kitty Park, another park I discovered. This one is even bigger than the uh, Lumpini Park and it's really nice here. It reminds me of Singapore. But back to the story, back to the topic. What do Vietnamese girls really want in a man? Uh, doesn't matter he is a Vietnamese guy or a foreigner, right? They must have certain preferences. And uh, Vietnamese women do have certain preferences. And by the way, many people say that Vietnamese are really the hottest chicks, the hottest girls among Asian women. But I leave this for you to decide. So, what is important for Vietnamese women? And by the way, I'm just roaming around randomly. I've been, I, I'm here the first time now. I also don't know really where to go, but there is enough space and enough nice views here. So one thing is for sure, looks and bedroom performance, looks and bedroom performance don't count really with uh, Vietnamese women. I mean, the sex is certainly important later when you are, let's say, already in a long-term relationship or engaged or even married. That certainly plays a role and is important, but it is not really an attraction factor for, for Vietnamese women. Vietnamese women, they tick a little bit differently than Western women. Or anyway, this is maybe the story we men tell ourselves, right? that we have to perform well and bad to impress the woman. Maybe this is just some nonsense, okay? What really matters to a Vietnamese woman is earning power, net worth, economic stability and reliability. Yeah, you have to show that you are able to advance economically and socially. And of course, you have to have great potential to be a father and provider. These are really the key points here you have to remember. Uh, this is what Vietnamese women are really, in general, are after. Also Philippine women, Indonesian women, Thai women, Cambodian women. At the end of the day, it's basically all the women around the world. It is absolutely therefore normal when you date, when you are dating a Vietnamese girl, a Vietnamese woman, that she might ask you about your job, your salary, about your finances. And this is confusing to especially Western men because you now in, in the Western culture, you don't talk about money, right? You don't talk about money on your date with a, with a woman. You don't do that. But here in Vietnam and, and also in China, it's, it's common. So don't, don't get shocked, okay? Um, now, out of this a statement here, which I just made, arises already a, an interesting question. Does it mean she is a gold digger? Well, kind of, <laughs> um, but not like the Vietnamese woman. Yeah, of course, they have the economics also in their mind, but they are certainly not that kind or type of gold digger like, let's say, some Filipinas or some Thai woman. Yeah, they will. The Vietnamese, they will certainly not run away with your money. 
okay but she is asking these questions because she wants to yeah I qualify you okay she wants to know if you are worthy right if you are a worthy partner you always have to call uh, look at it from the context of like you know being a provider and uh, <clears throat> being financially stable so again is it important to be good and bad no is it important to have a nice haircut is it like with a nice haircut that you impress Vietnamese woman no what about a fancy car check mark yes yeah I guess in these in this arena uh, Vietnamese women are very similar to to Western women right yeah a fancy, a fancy car means you have money right that's the thing And of course, a Vietnamese woman, she will look uh, if you have good relations with your a good relationship with your own parents, because uh, family is very important in Vietnam. Um, family is actually number one in Vietnamese culture, and um, if you can get, get along with your own family very well, that means uh, that shows the Vietnamese woman that you very likely can also integrate into her own family later and also that shows that you are able to integrate into a hierarchical uh, structure which a family is and this is very very important in Vietnam if you cannot get along with the uh, with the family of your spouse in Vietnam then it, it can get very tricky uh, let me be very blunt here and open a Vietnamese woman will not open her legs yeah for poor and unreliable dudes why should she do that anyway and I have to hurry a bit because otherwise I get a little wet here yeah why should she do that I mean as a matter of fact no woman is interested to date or hook up to get engaged or married to a loser right a guy who cannot provide a guy who is not financially stable and immature um, but the Vietnamese woman yeah they really really pay attention to this the Vietnamese and the Chinese woman they are very very specific and careful with whom they sexually engaging yeah many Vietnamese girls even are still virgins before they get married this is also an interesting fact you should know uh, and why is that yeah it is actually a practical thing you know because uh, the Vietnamese they know the Vietnamese woman they know that a virgin is highly valued by or among Vietnamese men okay so if she remains a virgin until marriage she she knows she will attract a high status a high status guy this is what she wants yeah. and another interesting dynamic is actually I found out um, when foreigners or Westerners let's say are dating Vietnamese women um, it is a little bit risky to the woman to the Vietnamese woman um, because uh, we all know uh, we, we Westerners anyway but also the, the Vietnamese woman and her circle of friends and people who have experience with uh, dating Vietnamese women that you know uh, when Western people have relationships even they're not married you know there is there will be sexual interaction sexual intercourse and stuff this is so normal in our culture in our Western culture you know This is so common and when a Vietnamese woman is uh, in a relationship with a Western man you know then all her friends and all her acquaintances can count one and one together they can assume that sex is going to happen between them even they are not married so long story short that lowers her value that lowers 
the value of the Vietnamese woman and, and she is aware of that. So this can also be a, a barrier and an obstacle for the woman to date foreigners at all. Yeah, this actually makes sense, you know. Um, also be careful if you are dating Vietnamese woman and you're chatting and you're talking to each other sometimes some woman will say you know like ah, you know Vietnamese men are not good and I like foreigners and this and that yeah of course you know women are very smart also the Vietnamese women and they, they are very much attuned to say what you want to hear as a man and you know we men and everybody else we want to yeah we, we like to hear that we are the best and the greatest right women are masters uh, with this you know they will play that record and they will tell us how good we are but what what does she actually mean you know um, yeah good just means uh, you have money therefore you can provide you know this is actually what she refers to you know a good man means he has money and can provide he is stable you know uh, so when you uh, meet or date a Vietnamese woman and she complains about her ex-boyfriend the Vietnamese one for example who was not so generous yeah, you have to ask yourself the question why was the Vietnamese ex-boyfriend not so generous with her maybe because she was a gold digger so interesting uh, fact right now uh, I want to talk about the age gap again I've made a video about this topic you might want to check it out but this also comes up frequently and it's an interesting point especially when dating in Asia um, can we really say that Asian women or also Vietnamese women like older men in general hmm that's a very very interesting question um, some people would argue that actually no Vietnamese don't really like older men and we have to define what is old you know I mean uh, I dated a Vietnamese girl last year I told the story already and uh, I was 45 at the time she was 28 so yeah there was an age gap of 17 years and I asked her so is it okay you, you are dating a 45 year old guy and she said you know as long as you are not the same age as my dad everything is fine <laughs> and I just was laughing at the time I remember because that was a funny answer so you see she was very open to date foreigners uh, older than her but you know she she didn't really mention the motivation she just said it's okay but yeah but why was it okay I didn't know I didn't try to dig any deeper but yeah I mean what is old I mean in Asia also and also in Vietnam you know the people have great respect for age and elderly people but you know I know you respect your grandma and your grandfather you definitely respect your grandfather but would you really date him you know this is a question you have to ask yourself so uh, I think there is no definite answer you have to really ask the woman but they will never really reveal their true motivations we just can assume them I am pretty convinced and sure what their true motivations are and there are economic always economical motivations even they do not want to admit this but this is just the case for me but you we can we can definitely uh, conclude that Vietnamese women are more tolerant when it comes to age gaps that's a fact this is also my experience 
I give you one example. In the Western world, for example, we can, we can say and conclude that, let's say if you are 40 years old and have a stable job and some money, you're doing financially quite well. You don't, you don't need to be rich, but you, you are stable, right? Then if you are 40, you might date a woman in her 30s, right? In the Western countries. In Vietnam, if you are 40 years old, have money and a stable job and stuff, yeah, these dudes, you know, they look for girls in their 20s or early 20s. And for some of these Vietnamese men, men is even the woman which is already 25 years old is too, too old, you know? So these are the dynamics in Vietnam. Again, I refer to my age gap video, which I released a few weeks ago. You might want to check it out. But it is very uncommon to see a 60-year-old dude, like, I don't know, a 60-year-old Western guy with a 20-year-old Vietnamese woman. I've never seen that, personally. Um, I also hear very little about these so-called relationships. So there's definitely a huge difference uh, to the Philippines and Thailand, because in the Philippines you see that a lot. You see that a lot. You see very, very old men uh, with very, very young women. And of course, when you see that, then it is questionable, in my opinion. I, I know there are exceptions, uh, but in general, it is a little bit strange. Huh? Why a young, let's say, Filipino or Thai woman in her early 20s wants to hook up with a 60 or 65 or 70 year old man. Um, I also would like to state that Vietnamese girls, Vietnamese women, who are looking for, an, if they are looking for an older man, then also they have their reasons to do that. And some of the reasons I believe is, of course, if you, if you are already in your middle age or a little bit older, then this Vietnamese lady, she knows that you are, yeah, uh, more emotionally settled already. That means you are not jumping around from girl to girl, from woman to woman, from partner to partner. You are basically romantically settled already, yeah. She also knows that you are most likely not so easily uh, ready to pick up and leave. Yeah? You are not 25 anymore, you're not 30 anymore, you don't want to explore the world and all these adventures and stuff. And you, are, you are settled, you have a stable job, you have your finances in order, you have your ducks in a, lined up in a row, so to speak. Everything is organized, you know. And maybe the third reason, one of the, one of the reasons is if she really, a Vietnamese woman wanted to hook up with an older man or really an old man is because, yeah, she knows he will die sooner or later, maybe rather sooner. And then you can imagine, uh, yeah, where the money goes, you know, she will inherit most likely uh, everything but what he will be leaving behind, right? So there's much more to say, of course, more details, more nuances, but I hope I could help you a little bit to give you some orientation here. Uh, if you are interested to date Vietnamese woman, I hope this video will prepare you a little bit. You know, I've also released other videos already last year about uh, dating Vietnamese woman. This is a rather longer uh, video where I go into a little bit more of the details of the dating dynamics in Vietnam and why things are the way they are. But I will also in the future shoot more videos about dating Vietnamese woman and try to uh, dive into more of specific topics to unravel uh, the, uh, yeah, the, 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 the key points here, you know.
uh, for those of you who yeah, are interested to date or uh, want to travel to Vietnam or, or are already in Vietnam and dated already uh, but you know failed or uh, I don't know are pissed off maybe even or you know are confused and what the hell is going on with these girls I don't understand them I'm confused I don't know how they tick why are they behaving like this you know and, th and this and that don't forget if you are a westerner you are a westerner you're coming from a complete different cultural background than these Asian ladies yeah and just because we all have Starbucks shops in America, Canada, Germany, France, Italy, and Vietnam and the Philippines doesn't mean we 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 are ticking the same way. Yeah? Starbucks, McDonald's, Gucci, Armani, these are all global brands. But when you travel, when you date, when you immerse into different cultures, you will realize pretty fast how much you still have to learn. And this is actually also good. Yeah, how much you still have to learn. And how big the differences between the cultures and therefore the people really are. And these differences can be quite significant. And this also applies, of course, to dating. So with that being said, I'm checking out for the day here from lovely Bangkok. And now I will enjoy the park a little bit here. Have a good time guys, see you soon with a new video, looking forward to your comments, take care, bye bye.